Mu'iz says, does a man's children, sisters, parents, or any family members have to pay for his sins in this world? We hear this statement a lot, that if you do something bad, your offspring would suffer in this world due to your sins. This question is quite confusing and mixed. First of all, the general understanding is that a person does not carry the burden of others. A sin does not result in others carrying the burden and the sins who are not related to it. A person is accountable only for his own sins or the sins that resulted from his own sin. So a person who throws a party with haram, music, free mixing, booze involved, he will carry all the sins of those attending his party because their sins is a result of his original sin, which is throwing the party in the first place. But when we come to the concept in Mu'iz question, which is revolving around a father who did something wrong to his neighbors, who embezzled, who received bribes, who stole money. Now, people, the concept would be that Allah would punish him through his children. So he will see the impact of his sins on his children. Is it true or false? This is something that we cannot judge. Because Allah Azza wa Jal predestines things with wisdom and knowledge that we may not understand. So, in the good side, a father who is righteous, practicing and pious, would find that Allah protects his children due to his righteousness. As in Surah Al-Kahf, when Musa, peace be upon him, came to the village and they asked them for food and they re rejected, there was a wall about to fall and Al-Khidr erected it and fixed it. And he justified this by saying that it belonged to two orphans. Their father was a righteous practicing man. Some interpreters of the Quran, of the tafsir, said that their father is referring to their seventh grandfather. So Allah is protecting all of his lineage and, and, and offspring till the seventh generation. Either way, in good, we have no problem in that. Now in evil, maybe you're evil. You've done bad things. What bad did your children do to be punished or tormented? The answer is, we don't know. So maybe a person does evil in his life and Allah Azza wa Jal tests him with a child with special need or with illnesses or with poverty. Now, this torment is not the result of the doing of the children and it might be the result of their father's punishment or sins, but they're not being punished. The children are being tested. And this is for a better good that we don't know, know of. So it is wrong to say, ah, look, because he was a crook, Allah Azza wa Jal granted him a child with special needs or his child was bedridden for a, a long time or his child was uh, blinded or whatever. This is wrong because we cannot say that this is the judgment of Allah Azza wa Jal and the 
torment of Allah because of his sin. Maybe it's something else. So we cannot uh, uh, say that, but at the same time, there is a big possibility that it is part of his torment for his evil deeds and for his sins. This is part of, but not the only reason for that, and Allah Azza wa knows best. We